Greetings, adventurers. I'm Max, the composer of Culture and Compositions, your guide through realms of TTRPG music where fantasy meets the echoes of sci-fi and whispers of horror. Imagine your party at the brink of an enchanted forest or a haunted space station, my music weaving suspense with every leaf's rustle or distant spaceship hum. In the heart of battle, against mythical beasts or otherworldly entities, feel the thrill with compositions that make every clash, every spell a legend. But it's not just about the adrenaline. In moments of tranquility or eerie calm, let my music enhance the heart and soul of your story. As a fellow TTRPG enthusiast, I blend each melody to resonate with your game's diverse realms. Ready for an unforgettable session across all genres? Visit Coltrane Compositions on Patreon. Let the music guide your epic tales from ancient castles to distant galaxies through every shadowed corner. That's C-O-L-T-R-I-N Compositions. You are listening to Tomes of the Chaos Bard. Hello, Tomies, and welcome to the 2024 Mailbag. Yay! Mailbag! I am Abby, your host for the evening, and to my left I have... My name is Elsie. I'm Becky. We've- I thought you were going to say I'm dead inside. <laughs> <laughs> like you had like pre-show. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Becky. I'm Evan. Zeb. Dave. <laughs> okay. We're going to just hop right into it with our very first question from Lily. So the question is, hello. If you remember... Back when the group was in Avalon, they were leaving after their conversation with the council. The Duke of Avalon got his own Chaos Chronicle. In this episode, we discover the secrets he's been hiding and hear his conversations with shady people. At the very end of the episode, however, he mentions that he wants to know more about Henley and wants her for some reason. Was this just to lead us on, or is this still a threat? How will it affect the group? And is this another secret Henley is hiding that we don't know? Spoilers. That's more of a question for me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I play Henley, oh. but I don't know about these <laughs> but questions. it's a good <laughs> question. <laughs> good question. We are also curious. Do tell. So he's still a threat. There's still somebody coming after Henley. I just haven't been focusing on it because there was a lot of other things we had to wrap up. We had to go take care of the hollow. We had to go take care of some other things before I added yet another dilemma to the to the players. So don't worry. It is coming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> In the dark of the night, people will find her. Find her. <laughs> All right. Next question. Hi, I am Ezzy. I am seven. And what are your real names? Well, Ezzie, from the beginning, I'm Abby. And to my left, I have... I'm <laughs> Elsie. If you want my real name, it's Rebecca. But the only one who calls me that is my mother when she's angry. <laughs> Evan. Zeb. Wait, is that your real name or your nickname? Ooh. My real name. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's Zebediah. Don't lie. All right, well, uh, if I'm going to go for that, my real name is Abigail, so... Oh, in that case, my name is Elsie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I'm Dave, but <laughs> real name's David, but only my mother calls me that when she's angry. <laughs> <laughs> and Abby, for the first three years of your marriage. And Abby. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Straight red. And, and me. I didn't know that was a problem. <laughs> no, it's, it's not. not. A problem. <laughs> it's not. I didn't call um, Dave David until after you guys got married. It was always Dave before that. The majority of people just call me Dave, but I'm fine with either one, David or David. <laughs> David or Dave. <laughs> not David, David, David or David. <laughs> David or David is and fine. And the truth comes out. <laughs> <laughs> because I became friends with Abby. That's really what it was. <laughs> She was a four-letter name. I was. A, I had to be a four-letter name, y- too. You know, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. You know, and most people call me Abby because Abigail's a mouthful. I'm sure 
Zeb is the same way. Zebedai is a mouthful. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Elsie's pretty, you know. Well, I think we like You're call you L full. sometimes. <laughs> yeah, well, but that's like not something. It's not like, hey, L. Hey, hey, L. You know, or else. Yeah, else. Okay. Okay. Anyway, we can move it's on. Bel- I'm sorry. <laughs> Belsey. Belsey. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. I yes. think for a while we played around with uh, Elsa and you hated it too. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you staring at me. <laughs> no, she that's repressed the, that memory. It's the deer in the headlights. And I just look right brought there. it up. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. Go ahead and take your drink. All right. Next question is from Sarah. Um, was saving Mendrick Worth it. No. Seb was Next saving Mendrick. <laughs> <laughs> Initially, I would still say uh, yes, it was. Would you like to I think a pound because that? of Joanna. I don't think yeah. Mendrick was worth it, but Mendrick was worth it for Joanna. Yeah. yeah. If she wasn't in the picture, then we probably would have been like, meh. Eh. <laughs> Long term wise, I mean, time will definitely tell, but yeah, I don't know if I'll ever regret. I mean, there's always maybe someone, maybe someday we'll regret saving somebody that we shouldn't have. Maybe Ricardo would be one of those. Mm, cool. But hmm. we saved him. We let him go. We let oh, him go. okay, okay. Yeah. Well, and then sparing somebody's life. I got it. Got it. Who's the guy we always run into? <gasps> Robert? No. Oh. No, not no, Robert. No, no, the guy with the pig green beans. No. <laughs> Oscar. 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 Oh yeah. Oscar. Although he's never he's always very loose-lipped, so it might be worth keeping him alive because he is so loose-lipped. He's the traitor we love. Mhm. <laughs> On the flip side, do you regret not saving anybody else up in the cave? Because of the way that Mendrick reacted. Was there somebody else you would have saved if you knew that information prior to? I can think of someone. That's right, because Zeb spent chaos points to save Mendrick. Mm-hmm. And I think Evan did too. There were quite a few. I think I used mine on Kath. I think mine everybody too. else used theirs on Kath. Yeah. Again. That's because I love Kath. Uh, okay. Kath is worth it. <laughs> I w- I'm more. I think Henley was more fearful that you know Ivan would murder them if we didn't bring Kath back. <laughs> but that's a very good question, though. What do you think, Zeb and Evan? I'm trying to think of who else is in the cave. I know Natlin, Marlo, Marlo, Cloth Debs himself. Cloth, right? Cloth quote Debs unquote. Cloth my, Debs. my lady. What's her name? Rochelle. Rochelle. Rochelle's not she was dead taken. though. She was just. Taken. I know, but. We could have tried to save her. Mm, that's fair. True. You guys technically tried to save her. Yeah, well, we could have tried harder. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> a lot of things happened in that battle that were not according to plan. I tell you, if I hadn't have passed out. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I don't... <sighs> I don't think that I would have changed it for two yeah, reasons. I don't think so. Again, Joanna. Um, because she's, she's a nice lady, and she asked us for help and stuff like that and it, but if we brought back one of the other people we would have tried to ha- had to bring back Marlo as well then we wouldn't have been able to save Kath yeah. hmm. what do you think Evan um I think if Joanna wasn't in the picture I probably would have gone like Natlin instead because she did risk her life for us to Mm -hmm. try and help out. Mm. But with Joanna being in the picture and knowing Joanna more than I knew Natlin, I probably, I mean, don't regret the decision I made. I know for me, I was kind of surprised that you didn't save Natlin. Well, I only had so many chaos. I I understand. But I, (laughs) I would have like, if, Seeing how things went out, I figured Mendrick would have been one that didn't get saved, and you'd just go like, oopsie, Marlo killed him. Sorry, Joanna. But now go live true. your free life. But that's not true. Marlo <laughs> didn't kill Mendrick. <laughs> I know, but it, that was what was the thought process in my mind. It's like they could blow it off that they just couldn't save him, but save Natlin. But oh. I think we talked about it 
later, it's just like, well, you saved Natlin, but you didn't save Marlo, so Natlin's going to be mad Natlin because you would, went back uh, on killed us. <laughs> that, yeah, I think if I could have spared it, and you know, if it didn't cost as much, or you know, if Teth hadn't died, and you know, someone else could donate the points or whatever, mm-hmm. I would have gone for Natlin while he, you know, helped with um, Dude Man, but I no way to really know until that situation <laughs> yeah, right. played out the way that it played out. <laughs> it's true. Hey, next question from Hunter. For everyone, do you have any TTRPGs besides D&D that you like to play? If so, would you run them so that the best DM ever can finally catch a break and play? I wonder who that best DM is. I've never heard of him before. <laughs> That's a weird name. It is a weird name. I do like the idea of playing other systems. I think just the sometimes just the money gets in the way. Mm-hmm. And the time and effort to learn, learn a new it. system. I have played exactly. Vampire the Masquerade, a superhero one. David and I have played Pathfinder, which mm-hmm. we we liked that one a lot. But it was a lot. It's I don't know if we could DM very Pathfinder. crunchy as really as crunchy. people would say. But there were a few things we really liked that we added then to our game, like Correct. chaos points. I think they're called hero points in Pathfinder. They have hero points. We also got that from uh, Hero's Tale. Oh yeah, because we did play that, and that was a the local. That was a local Utah local. creator. Yeah. And I've also played another one that I can't remember what it's called. Ready but it, Go. Ready Go. Ready Go. Yeah. Ready Go, which is like a hand system. And I really liked that one. That was really fun. Um, anybody else? I, I played Settlers of Catan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, uh-huh. a, that's a good TTRPG. Oh, oh, yeah. I hate that game. <laughs> I love that game. Let's fight. I played okay. Diablo. <laughs> Diablo. Oh, we also really like Five Minute Dungeon. I wouldn't call it a TTRPG, though. No. No. Yeah. But with that question, with that question though, Zeb has played a little one shot with us that we did record when we're in the process of editing it right now. So hopefully, you guys will be able to hear it. We're just trying to decide if we want to release it into one long episode. Or kind of two shorter episodes. Oh, where that good break point would be. I don't know either. Yeah. I think we one were... One long episode. It was a very long episode. Okay, we'll do a one long episode. Uh-huh. The whole episode was like two and a half, three hours. <laughs> That's fine. So we should we should shorten it. Well, cutting it down, I bet it, it, I bet it released to about two hours. Maybe an hour and 45. It'd be interesting because you get to... Do we spoil anything? No. no. Okay, we'll leave it at that then. Except for one thing. DM Dave playing is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> he was fun. And I basically played a second boot row on accident. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't meant to be. <laughs> no, so, so keep an eye ear out for that. So he does give me a break with that. And uh, we might be doing some more of those here in the future. So stay tuned. Okay, this is from Caden, and there are two questions here. So this one is for everyone. What is everyone's favorite NPC so far? Willow. Why? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah. No, he's he's funny. I thought it was going to be Stumpy. No, no. Stumpy doesn't, uh, he's old. Willow's old. Yeah, but Willow's young. <laughs> <laughs> Willow's old, yeah, but he's young. Yeah, yes. Well, he's a gnome. They live a long time. So do they dwarves. Do. Yeah, that's my point. He's young. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really like Willow. I just like being able to hang out with him and like have like a cool buddy who is nothing like Boudreau. Mm. It's fun, but well, somehow we're still friends. That's fair because Stumpy is similar. Yeah, we're very mm-hmm. similar. So he's basically an older version of me. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. I would have to say Robert. Oh, oh Robert is my favorite to play. 
Yeah, and you played around with the idea of playing Robert in like a one shot, and it is terrifyingly awesome and scary at the same time. Oh yeah, I think uh, my next character I want to play Robert, and I'd play him as a cleric. Are you gonna do the voice? Oh yeah, I'd I'd do the voice too. That's the best part of Robert. It is. is <laughs> he loves doing the voice. Um, I'm torn. I think I really like Yo Links because he's like. Right on that brink of gray, but also I think Swindell. I just love <laughs> Swindell. <laughs> Henley hates him, but <laughs> Abby loves Swindell because he's just like your charismatic uh, jerk face. <laughs> <laughs> he is fun to play as well. Evan, who's your favorite? Probably Swindell. <laughs> Would have never been able to tell by the way that you uh, play that character. I'm a big Swindell fan. <laughs> you know he's bad, but he's not bad. <laughs> he's not. He's just good. not good. <laughs> I think every ever since I brought Swindell into our campaigns, Evans always his character is always fascinated with he's with my Swindell. Guy. Yep, that's because he's always. an upstanding businessman. He's upstanding. <laughs> Nothing shady about him. No, no. <laughs> I have liked uh, Aline Glomquist personally. Oh, I she forgot about her. Fun. She was fun. She was, fun. She she was, was real fun. fun. Yeah. Do we get Becky Jack? I don't have a favorite. No, me. No. <laughs> Boudreaux's not an NPC. <laughs> he could be. And neither is <laughs> Elsie. What about be. the necromancer though? I liked him, but I wouldn't say that he's like my. As a player, a personal favorite. I don't have a favorite NPC know, so far. There's nose. not one that just speaks to me. It's long notes. <laughs> long notes. No, that's, a, that's lore. That's made. That's that's what about character your, made lore. I believe your in him. He's not lore. friend that you're running off with. Emery? Ferdinand. Emery. Okay, again, character-wise, sure. Um, player-wise, it's not a take it or leave it situation. I just don't have a favorite. I love a lot of them equally. Um, and I don't dislike any of them. I love all my kids equally, just depending on the day. Oh, no, wait. What's that gnome that keeps shooting you? Her love. <laughs> <laughs> She's my, my favorite. favorite. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Friendly fire. <laughs> Friendly fire. Next time she shoots me, she's getting smitten. <laughs> <laughs> Falling in love with Roscoe. <laughs> Wrong smitten. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong smitten. No, no, no. Smoking. I could, I could see smoke. that. You fight back and she's like, oh. Well, hello there. <laughs> I didn't know you had that fight in you. <laughs> this whole t- That's how her culture says I love you, that I really like you. Is to shoot the rock the back. <laughs> <laughs> you Pay attention to me, you Roscoe. You rock, rock, walking around their hometown with darts sticking out of their back. Oh my gosh, that's where Cupid, Cupid came comes to be at. <laughs> no wonder, <Cupid> gnome. <laughs> no wonder rock gnomes and forest gnomes have such a hard time getting along. Mm-hmm. There's just such cultural differences. I really wish Roscoe would pay attention to me. Oh my gosh, we need to have a Cupid rock gnome now. <laughs> and then have it have a voice still like that. Her name's Herla. <laughs> yeah. Her- Herlo. Herlo. <laughs> No, Please no, make them no, clothes, no. not I full think, on charm. I think these guys should love each other. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question from Caden. This one is for David. Which character do you think has contributed the most to the story so far and why? Uh, Robert definitely considered... No. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's great. Which character... I would almost lean towards Roscoe. That's what I was going to say. Because he's been kind of involved in like everybody's story, plus getting more stories uh, not added on, but kind of flushing out more stuff going on with that. I would say he's probably been the most influential so far. And that's not to downplay anybody else's influence on the game, but I think... Roscoe's been kind of the center point. That's because I Roscoe's concur. really solemn. I know we joked about like Roscoe's background story arc was 
these episodes, <laughs> one through 70, <laughs> 76. They kind of were. Oh, they kind of they were. Kinda were. <laughs> you think about us. You want Roscoe's background? Here it is. Here it is. Now <laughs> we'll actually get into the story, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the way you just described it there, Roscoe was solemn, dude. <laughs> he's solemn. That's where solemn comes in. He just pops up randomly. Because he's Roscoe. Roscoe is solemn. Dun, dun, dun. dun Secretly dun, barred. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay, next question from Oliver. This is a question for everyone. Well, and a request. Uh, can you say Fenrir ten times fast? Should we do that one first? I mean, yes, we can. <laughs> we can move on now, right? Next question. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's move on. <laughs> no, Anyone I cannot want to tackle it. <laughs> Fenrir, 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 Fenrir. That's where Fenrir, Fenrir, Fenrir came Fenrir, from. Fenrir. Fenrir? Is that 10? Fenrir, 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 Fenrir. Yeah. <laughs> My fingers don't move that fast. <laughs> I think we could say Fenrir maybe that yeah. fast. Or Fenny. Fenny, 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 Fenny. But Fenrir. You got to say 10 Fenrir names as fast as you can. Oh. oh. Uh, you hot yoga out. Fenrir? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you have 10? Oh, he has more than how that. Many, how, many, how many Fenny names are there? 18. I don't have a sheet. A lot. <laughs> uh, a lot. Okay. I mean, we have at least five. At least, yeah. Six if you count Fenrir's name. Rearniff? Rearniff? Like, he's just Fenrir himself. Mm. Yeah. But. Fen. Yeah. Fenrir. Fenny. 10 or 15 of them. Fenny. Fenny. Fenbro. Fenny. Yeah. Fenbro. Yeah, Hot yoga Fenrir. Quadrir. Quadrir. Fenbro. Mm hmm. Yeah. The list was sent out once. Oh, let's see it. Right. I'm going to look at the Fenrir, list. Fenrir, 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 Fenrir. It just sounds like Fenrir. It does. <laughs> it really does. Yeah. Fenrir, 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 Fenrir. Fenrir, 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 Fenrir. That's pretty Woo! good. Ah, yeah. <laughs> you guys are losers. <laughs> it wasn't very fast, though. But it was good. I'm I not. had to use <laughs> my fingers, and my fingers don't move as fast as my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope that satisfies Oliver. Um, on Unless the other two want to try it. Yeah. Oh, do you guys want to try Nope. I have 19. <laughs> 19. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> How, where did the other ones? <laughs> you owe me a soda. Jinx. Fenny, Fen, Fenner, Fen here, Fenne, Fenny, 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 Fen rear, Fen bro, Fen hair, Fen hair, Fake rear, Fen fall, Fen her, Fen lee, Hen rear. <laughs> Quadrier, Fenbro, Fen Her. Wasn't that twice? Fen Her? No. Fen Hair and Fen Her. I said Fen Hair twice. There's but a fen different hair kind of. Fen Hair is in Hair and Fen Hair is in the rabbit. Oh! Got it, got <laughs> it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Spelled differently. I was confused. Okay. I forgot about part of those. Huh? I'd like to ask a question. What's on your nose, Elsie? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> it was obviously a poor strip, too. It was. It's just. It's just. It's just my putty. Okay. Anyways, we can move on. Fidgeting. uh, Fidget toy. toy. Yeah. David told me to pay attention when we do stuff, (laughs) so I got myself putty. (laughs) (laughs) And since she's a baby, she had to put it on her nose. But I did tell her she had to share with me, so I'm playing with the same (laughs) thing. Yes. Sharing David is caring is unless making it's a cube out of his. Yeah, I I am definitely a fidgeter. And I made. And a, I gotta try and find quiet things to fidget with. A whole bunch of tiny little balls <laughs> on the table. Anyway, it's beeswax putty. Yeah. <laughs> Oliver's next question is: What is your character's favorite food? Sorry, Dave, but I think you could pick. I'll pick an NPC solemns. Or favorite oh, food okay. Okay. Henley's me. favorite food I'm going to do favorite drink her favorite drink is coffee mm. pumpkin pie pumpkin pie I say that with a question mark because he just loves food yeah. but he and loves pumpkin pie I say Henley's favorite is coffee because a lot of the ranger core and everything is based off the ranger's apprentice books and ranger's favorite drink is coffee so that is why I picked that Pumpkin pie. I had never thought about this before. Hold on. <laughs> let's see. Boudreaux's, um, <laughs> let's see, pancakes. Faye's pancakes for sure. Pancakes, and definitely his, pancakes. His p- 
potatoes and no. his oatmeal. No. And maybe the one oatmeal with the berries. That's yeah, Lila's. And his That's cheesy Lila's. rice that he made. That's Lila's. That's Lila's. Um, not the burned rice. Not Garatha's. The bottom was burned, not the rest of it. Oh. <laughs> what was Garatha's? I'm sorry. Mm, she didn't have one. Steak. Nothing that you we have come across Meat. so far in the campaign. Anything Boudreaux does not cook. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Henley's ashy Henley's. potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Yes, actually, I think she made a comment that she actually enjoyed she, those. I think you're right. That's right. She, I think she did. He. Is Roscoe's a surprise? <laughs> no, it's the Roscoe's Ready Delight. That's right. Yeah. And peach meat. Oh, yeah. Can I change mine to peach meat? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll go with stew for Fenrir. What stew. kind of stew? Just the campfire stew. Boudreaux stew with swamp water in it, guys. Gosh. Stone stew. Oh, yes. Stone soup. Stone soup. And he has to have the story that goes along with it. Uh, to come later. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. Uh, Solemns would be dino chicken nuggies. Yes. <laughs> Does Quill hate it? Quill hates it. <laughs> Quill Are hates you anything Solemn likes. Because <laughs> Solemn makes him out of real dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, again! And he hates going to the di- the, the Dino Realm. <laughs> what, what is it? What is that place called? The ones oh, with the... Jurassic Park. No, 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 no. There's a plane of existence. <laughs> Jurassic Park. What is it? It's not monster. The Beastlands. Beastlands. Yep. Yeah. He hates going. Quill hates going to the Beastlands. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's because that's why the ones. dragons ah. are too. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, Spoilers. this one is Spoilers. from Purple Melon, and this is for the people, not the characters. What is something weird or different that you collect? If people? You collect yeah, people? people. <laughs> you collect people? Yeah. It's Elsie, what do you collect? I, I That's could, just I friends, could, right? Yeah, I agree with Elsie. She collects people. Like, she is so good at, like, getting people to flock to her. Oh, that's true. <laughs> that is her hoard. If she was a dragon, she would collect people. That is a better war- version. What do you, if you were a dragon <laughs> as a person, what would you hoard? Okay, what would well, be? I want to tell you my real answer, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I yes, real answer first, and then we'll play. Postcards, but mostly, and more importantly, marbles. I like marbles. What? Mm. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's why you love dice so much. They're like marbles. Roly cloly. I give my dice away so that I can get more. <laughs> oh, and I just hoard all of them. I'm a dice goblin. So I'm not a I'm not a dice hoarder, but anyway. Um well since starting playing the game, uh definitely dice, because I'm a dice goblin. I like anything shiny. Math rocks are good. Uh, but I also have a lot of like secondary things that I tend to pick up and like. Like Seb said that he really likes dragons, and now every time I'm out, I'm like, oh, dragons! Um, <laughs> my friends liked rubber ducks, and I have 500 rubber ducks. Not 500. I have 70. Um, now yeah. I like to send her rubber duck stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's great. <laughs> but yeah, I just have a lot of secondary passions. Um, Star Wars stuff. Because my husband, I've said that, I'm like, oh! But again, it's not my thing. So you collect for other people. Yeah, I, I collect things for other people, and then sometimes I give them to them. She's a collector by proxy. Yeah. Mushrooms, because of one of my characters that I have. <laughs> Evan knows. He's laughing at it. And sleeping. Yeah. Don't sleep on your mic. Your turn. Um, I collect shot glasses and watches, actually. Cool. I did not know that. I'm trying to think. There's not really anything. You know, as a kid, I collected, you know, basketball cards. Not really into it much anymore. Um, I mean, I do, anytime that I go, like, on vacation or something like that, I like to find, like, souvenirs-wise, I like to look for those those machines that make your penny into something. Oh, oh dude, yes. I love, I have so those too. Sorry. I have... I have like a little booklet of those of everywhere I've been. And so that would probably be the closest thing that I collect. That's cool. That's really cool. I do pocket watches. 
Yes. <gasps> and oh, Monopoly games. Yes. Different versions of Monopoly. We have a lot of Monopoly How do you games. have space for that? I uh, don't. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of them go in our camp trailer. <laughs> yeah. I could get you the Costco version. Of- so what you're saying is they you have, have to clean Costco out. Vers- yeah. It's only cool versions that I like to... Like so not, not like the Walmart ones. Well, you have a re- an original Pokemon one that's really cool. The original 150 yeah. Pokemon one. The 50th one. and a, probably and like the, the 50th anniversary or whatever it was of that. No, it was and don't when you it have, came out. Oh, it came yeah. out original. Yeah, original. so I, I have that original one. And I have the original Pokemon, okay. sorry. And I have the Star Wars Monopoly. I have a Zelda Monopoly. I have Except for that one's mine. That one's yours. I bought it for you. <laughs> Um, but it's with because me, you really want it. With the intent of me collecting it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a Monty Python one. We really like that one. We really like that one. That one has some fun rules. A Yellowstone one. Uh, I think that's one that we, when we go on vacation and stuff, that's what we try and find is a Monopoly version of said place. Mm-hmm. So, like, we went to Yellowstone. We bought the Yellowstone one. So I think I don't, they were out of a the dinosaur park one. I think when yeah. we went. Yeah, I don't need to try and get my brother who lives in Canada to send you a Canadian one. Is what you're saying? Canada doesn't exist. So what? <laughs> it's northern Montana. <laughs> Just, Just kidding. kidding. No. Love you, Canada. He'll send that about the same time he sends the maple syrup. He's not gonna send it. He's not gonna send it. But yeah, that's what I like to collect. So I, I collect Christmas bulbs. Everywhere we go, we get a Christmas bulb. And if they don't, I actually make one with a sticker or something. Um, I also collect coins. I have some really old, really cool ones. I have like a, a silver dollar, like it's actual silver. And an original Susan B. Anthony dollar. Most And some $2 bills, you know. And I have some... Money. <laughs> <laughs> Most of them do not. I used. I almost had all the fifty states quarters from the different mints, the Pennsylvania and the Denver mint. Because yeah, I know a little bit about coin collecting. Not a lot. Um, yeah, I have some. I collect those. Do I collect anything else? Besides children? children? No. Oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine I'd collect more but children. <laughs> and chickens. Oh, that's oh, why I, I do love you. my chickens. Yes. <laughs> children are why I don't so collect she, snow globes. She collects <laughs> eggs. I do collect. <laughs> <laughs> that's why uh, Elsie plays name, Boudreaux. That's why her character's name is Henley. Henley. <laughs> now, that was already an NPC. Birds of a feather. Oh, my eyes. <laughs> Anybody ever wonders where Bujo actually gets it from? It's just Elsie. She's not acting. It's just Elsie. <laughs> Elsie in a deeper register. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I do collect recipes. You that do have true. a bunch of recipes. I, why'd you roll your eyes? <laughs> my, my bookshelf is like maybe like eight inches for the, the books, the cookbooks. Well, then you have a bunch of those uh, index oh, cards. Oh, I have a ton of index. Okay. Yeah. yeah. They don't even, in the they, yeah. No. They don't. Yeah. <laughs> They're kind of just scattered. <laughs> I need to get a photo an orga- album. An organized <laughs> <a> scatter. Because <laughs> I can't find anything. But she's just like, yeah, it's there halfway through the bottom on its left side and it's purple. You know, as long as she knows where her chaos is, it's fine. That is very accurate. Got to make things fit. Yep. Okay, next question. Next question. <clears throat> okay, Danny. This is your question. If fans were to meet you in real life, what do you think would be surprising to learn about you? I'm a girl. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually accurate. My daughter's like, wait, that's who plays Boudreau? <laughs> Boudreau's a boy. Yes, but Elsie's a girl. <laughs> And we love Elsie. Who is Elsie? Who plays Boudreaux is a girl. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what's surprising. I think <clears throat> she's a redhead. And I'm I, like average, you know. Very average. Yeah, just in general. Nothing great. Just everything. Nothing boring. You're just average. I'm just average. Gosh, what's <laughs> it make me then? <laughs> now, I would say 
for Please me, say. how antisocial I am. Very. Because, like, doing these recordings and stuff, like, I Hold feel, on. I sound out, yeah. That's all of us at this table. Don't even. Oh, I 100% <laughs> yeah, agree. Like, true. I think that's one big thing about all of us, like, how antisocial we are. Like, if you guys met, if any, a few of you met us at the salt con that we went to last year <clears throat> and how hard that was for us to be like so out there <laughs> at least it was for me i was drained by like the first half day i was just like man i'm so tired of talking to people i want to go back in my hidey hole and play my video games like <laughs> yeah. like i think that that would be surprising to people how antisocial we could be and how i have a grumpy face like, I just have a resting, grumpy face, so I always look angry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but just just for the record, though, I love talking to people. I, but I get really tired when I do. So it's not, I don't know if antisocial is quite the right word. The correct word is ambivert. Yeah. You're yeah. not an introvert, and you're not a, the other one. Yeah. Well, Extrovert, thank you. Yeah. Brain, thank you. <laughs> Yeah. I'm still recovering from pregnancy. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> um, I'm really, really short. I mm. would imagine people, because I play a, a relatively tall character. But you're uh, like the same height as me, don't you? <laughs> I'm 5'2". Five I'm 5'2 and a half. Loser! <laughs> <laughs> I beat my sister again! Uh. <laughs> I'm six foot. <laughs> yeah, it's really <laughs> funny seeing D- David and I together because he's a lot taller than I am. <laughs> I barely come up to his shoulder. <laughs> it really makes it really nice when I go buy snacks and I don't want her to see them. He puts them up I really put them high. on the high shelf. And then I end up forgetting about him and then she cleans the closet and she's like, David, what are these? <laughs> oh, I forgot they were up there. And why didn't you share them with me? <laughs> I didn't even, I forgot they were up there. Give me those. That's why a lot of times I just hide stuff in my truck. Yeah. Is that but something that people know about you? Surprising about me, I was thinking along the same lines as what David was saying. He's very antisocial, introverted type person. Like, I mean, if I need to be, I can be like... Well, you do that for work, though. I think you kind of... Yeah, exactly. Um, But I choose to... A perfect vacation for me is staying at home, not doing anything. (laughs) Amen. (laughs) Staycation. Yes. Evan? I don't know. Um, I don't know. You have eyebrows. (laughs) I'm bald. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> you, you're bald? Sometimes. Yeah. It's sometimes not that bald. <laughs> Depends on the day. Uh, I just, yeah, I, don't, I got nothing, you know, like these guys. I'm just really, I'm an awkward person outside of, you know, social life. We really like each other. Which mm-hmm. is why we talk a lot in the podcast. Mm-hmm. I don't like these guys, which is why I talk a lot in this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. You love us. <laughs> <laughs> debatable. It's debatable. Okay. It's debatable if you love Zep. It's fine. What about you? Um, I change my hair color more often than not. That's, that's a fact. I, that is I do change it a lot. It's the one thing in my life I have control over because I have three small children. Um... <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty. Uh, d- unlike David, who when we went to SaltCon, he was like, "Yeah, you know, I'm I'm done with this." It's kind of my element. Do I enjoy talking to people that I don't know? No. Am I really good at it? I don't know. Ask David and Abby. She's yes. really good at it. Yes, I would just look at her and be like, "Help me." <laughs> <laughs> I'm he done he had like this deer in the headlights, like, like I don't know what to do. I got you. <laughs> I got you. And then I was over there in the corner, like trying to recover. <laughs> from my 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm like, just give me five more minutes. And well, I'll I did that. Um, I did that for a long time, though, for work. So I think it's just mm. something I had to put on. No, but yeah, no, the hair thing, for sure. You never know what color kind of it's going to be. It's going to change next week, too. <laughs> going to change Ooh, again. I can't wait to see it. Okay. Purple. Next question mm-hmm. from Parker. Hi, guys. Fantastic podcast. Well, thank you. Uh, <laughs> keep up the great work. 
Couple questions, one for Dave and the other for the whole cast. Number one, what's your favorite NPC you've portrayed thus far in the campaign? I'm guessing that one is for you, David. Um, An NPC you get excited to voice (laughs) when brought up. So favorite NPC, favorite NPC to portray in the campaign thus far. I think it goes back to Robert. I really enjoy just messing around with Robert and his voice is fun though. I, I was really excited to the, to do the voice of the Mikey dids. That was so good. Oh, I, and I loved it when you did the unhinged Aleem. Oh, that oh, was yeah, great that too. Was fun too. <laughs> that would have been one time where it would have been really cool to video you. Cause it was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because I I do enjoy. I think that's one thing that might be surprised, not surprising to people. But I I enjoy doing voices. It's it's a dream. It would be a dream job to get into voice acting and do voice acting. I would love that because mm-hmm. it's something that I can hide behind, <laughs> not be in front of people to do. Go to work in your jammas. In my jam, in my basketball shorts, yeah. which is my jammas. Yeah, <laughs> and your everyday outfit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just wake up and go. Mm-hmm. It's perfect. Except for when you go to work, you actually wear. I have to wear pants, or, and I have to wear. He... <laughs> just wear it underneath. I don't think on the construction site they would allow me to wear shorts. Oh, no, you just uh, wear the wear shorts underneath. underneath of it. Yeah. It'd be way too hot to walk around <laughs> during the winter when you don't have yes. your your power in yet. It's fine. Plus, uh, my pants are getting tight. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, so having he basketball had shorts sympathy underneath. Sympathy pregnancy. <laughs> yeah, I did. I gained a baby. <laughs> yeah, you did. Literally and figuratively. Okay, I was about to say, I was like, no, no you really you did. did. Literally <laughs> and um, on the waistline. <laughs> um, okay, and the next question. What is everyone's backup characters? <gasps> it could be just race and class, nothing specific, just so you know. I love all the characters, and I don't want any to die. DM Dave. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. Challenge accepted. <laughs> I'll go first. Um, my backup character, at least currently, is a... Uh, oh, goodness. She is... What is it called? So the necromancers... Um, their last name. Lazarine. The Lazarine. She's a Lazarine. <laughs> Um, but a weird one where she, um, resurrects or, um, uses mushrooms to create undead instead of magic. Mm-hmm. And uses she biology. Be, huh? Uses biology. Yeah, she uses She biology. majored in that in college. <laughs> but part, a little bit part of her backstory is she was raised by druids. Mm-hmm. So it makes sense. She brought two backgrounds together. Um, and she'd be a human. Human. David, what's your backup character? Uh, Solemn. He's my backup character. I thought it was Quill. I was for sure it was Quill. <laughs> He's after Solemn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, favorites were pig. <laughs> you better not well, tell Solemn. Well, Solemn came first, so. <laughs> it's the voice. He just really likes doing the voice. Wait, mm-hmm. but now we know. What came first? The chicken or the egg? Solemn or quill? <laughs> <laughs> Solemn. Oh, you want me to go? Yes. Okay. You ready? I'll do a voice for you. I have a voice already. But I reserve the right to change my character and pick a different character right. at any moment and any uh, time. So. Likewise. <laughs> um, so her name is Amelia Magnolia, and she is a high elf. Um, and... She talks like this. Oh, darling, really? Are you really going to do that? She's <laughs> going to be kind of annoying and snooty. That just reminds me of Corella DeVille. Oh, yeah. That's pretty accurate. <laughs> 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 what was her class, potentially? Um, yes. Secrets. Okay. Spoilers. Um, I have like 20 of them. <laughs> <laughs> I think oh, I've thrown She out. also collects um, characters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. It's super funny because, like, sometimes something dramatic will happen with my characters. Like, okay, time for a new character idea. Um, And I think it's a different one every time. One of them was um, Fenny's nemesis. One of them was just a cat, um, a tabaxi. 
uh, th- yeah, there's a, a bunch of them. I haven't decided on one. It's in fluid motion. Just depends on which one DM Day is willing to let her play. Yeah, how crazy can it get here? <laughs> <laughs> I already had to tame this one down. <laughs> Evan. Uh, Roscoe? So Roscoe. Roscoe's his backup Roscoe's character. Back up. I mean, kind of. <laughs> there's Roscoe, there's Rocco. Can't go Ricky. No, what about so, Fenbro? <laughs> Fenbro was actually oh really fun gosh. to play. I really enjoyed Fenbro, so that could be something fun. That was part of Evan. Zeb's uh, little one Zeb's shot. one yeah. shot. That's one all you get, though. Fenbro was fun. Um, cool story. There's a couple. I mean, so if I, if I were to go into, like, spellcasting, I haven't done hardly any of that. I really want to do a wizard, but there were a couple different variations of that that I've kind of toyed around with and, you know, talked to Dave a little bit. Well, one of them was being kind of a a gambit-style wizard who, you know, requires something to, to use his spells. And the other one was more of a, I think it was a conjuration wizard, um... Where he had, you know, basically he had his spell book and he was writing his notes down and he did something stupid and his book blew up and they all turned into uh, effectively Yu Gi Oh cards. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was going to say Pokemon. And, I choose and you. So, Digimon. Um, yeah. <laughs> basically, in order to use any of his spells, he's got to, you know, cast the card and, and hope that it works and stuff. And so his, his book doesn't actually exist anymore. It exploded into a deck of playing cards. It's got his different conjurations and things like that. So um, those would be kind of fun. But the other one is uh, that I'd really wanted to, you know, try and play was a paladin. So there's that. (laughs) Why are you guys giggling so much? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So I think for me thinking about it, there'd be two that come to mind. It would be, either like some sort of like orc barbarian. Oh. That's really fun to play. Um, but then I also am thinking about playing some sort of monk. I oh. think playing a mm. monk would be really fun. I think you'd have a really good um, voice for a monk. I agree. That's You're assuming old. he'd do a voice. Like just his normal voice would be it? Or yeah, like, I think it would right. come across through the podcast really well. Like R- Evan's voice comes across really well for a halfling. Because I like food. Because <laughs> really, he's a hobbit, guys. And I mean that in like all the positivity, not a negative. When I, yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, Ryan has two questions. If you could play D anD D with any historical figure or fictional character, who would it be? I know. And why? Oh my gosh! I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Pick me. <laughs> Zeb, what do you think? (laughs) (laughs) Um, Off the top of my head, Robin Williams, I think, would be really fun. Oh, that's what I was going to (laughs) say. I knew you guys would pick that, so I picked something else. (laughs) (laughs) He would be way fun to play with. When I first read that question, that's the first Only if he DMs, so you can hear all of the voices. Oh, yeah. No, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't want him to be a character, though. He should DM. That's yeah. what I just said. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that would be so, I'm so cool. Sorry. No, you're good. Sorry. Now I'm going to It took you a minute to one. process what I said. We're good. <laughs> I got you. I stole it unconsciously. Hmm? We're good. Stupid brain. Okay, pick <laughs> me. <gasps> oh, my gosh. I would play with Wolverine. <laughs> Wait, the character Wolverine like or Hugh, Hugh Jackman? Jackman or... I want both. Can I have both? Can <laughs> I have both? <laughs> yes. No. Hugh Jackman as Wolverine? <clears throat> Or Wolverine and Hugh Jackman? Both. I want both. So wait, you want Wolverine and Hugh Jackman? Yes. You duplicate him. You want yes. Wolverine's, well Hugh, Jum- I Wolverine's want... Hugh Jackman and it... then Hugh Jackman. Because there is different yes. variations yes. of Sure, okay. sure, that works. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, there's, there's no, a... I don't care. I just Wolverine, comma, Hugh Jackman. <laughs> I want them both. And or. Yeah, and I just really want him, I just really want to see uh, Wolverine be really angry that he has to play a character and I'm sure he would play himself. No. He <laughs> so would he, I, he would play the opposite of himself, something super but end up playing himself. Yes. Or he, <laughs> a cleric. He would definitely be a cleric. No, well, for sure, for sure. A yeah. halfling I cleric. Think I would <laughs> halfling cleric. I think we should make a comic and I'll be like a little girl and I'll be like, Okay Wolverine, we've gotta play um 
Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons. <laughs> and then and then I'll give him a character sheet, and it's like Mrs. Buttercup, the teacher who has flowers in his hair, her hair, and this and that. And he's like, uh. no, it's a tabaxi, <laughs> a tabaxi, because it's like a kitty, and he's like. Pats him on the head every time. You're such a good kitty. He's like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, move on. <laughs> She's done peopling. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Becky. Becky. <laughs> it's uh, fine. You. It's fine. She just calls me Lila all the time. I so. do. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know because I when I was um looking at this question earlier it would have definitely been somebody like super cool historical figure and then i've been listening to a podcast and i kind of took them down a few notches Mm -hmm. they're not as cool as i thought they were so i don't know now abraham lincoln bro abraham stood five foot nine yeah took him down to five foot nine so six foot three yeah can you still oh. pick someone up? What's going on? I don't know. <laughs> Talk about heights? Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know who I would pick. Um, Me. You know who I'd... N- not necessarily history, but I really want to play with, like, Vin Diesel. I think it'd be fun. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There we go. And Evan. Uh, okay. Hear me out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're going to go with a few people. Okay. You're going to set your table? I'm going to set my table. Okay. I'll be, gotta, who's going to be the DM? Well, you are I'll the be the DM. Okay. Historical We're, person here, too. So. Just to my right, we have <laughs> Ryan Reynolds. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay could, yep. Uh, Henry Cavill. Okay. Yes. yes. Vin Diesel. Okay. Wolverine. Uh, <laughs> Wolverine. <laughs> 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 um. Just because I don't know how well it would go, I think it would be kind of fun to play with Obama. Okay. <laughs> Just have, him on, yeah. have him on the table. Um, I'm sure he'd actually surprise us. He might. Probably. You never know. He's he a lawyer. Secretly yeah. be a player. Yeah. Um, and then like Ron Weasley. <laughs> wait, Ron wait, 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 wait. wait. The character the, or the character? The character. Okay. Ron Weasley. Yeah. Ron Book or movie? Weasley. No, wait, wait. That sounds Book amazing. Book or movie, Ron? Yes. No, they are not the same. I don't care. They are not the same. Both. Well, his version. Ron Whoever's Weasley free. Whoever's free. Oh, Weasley. okay. Okay. We'll have both of them. <laughs> Ronald Weasley don't and play Ron Weasley. Fred and George the twins. <laughs> and I, I would like to, if I may, I'd like to add Terry Crews to your table. Yes. <laughs> I think Terry Crews would be fun in that group. Be so much fun. And then Evan as the DM. What system would you play? Like, what? What? What would be? Oh, your... we'd be playing a Star Wars campaign. Oh, for sure. So. Awesome. I would love to play with... Just this table. It's fine. Where's just this good? table. You guys are perfect. <laughs> yeah, we're perfect in every way. <laughs> no, but one of, my, one of my heroes in my life, his name was Red Skelton. <gasps> that would be so much fun. If you don't know who he is, look him up. He's by far the best comedian, hands down. I love him so much. And I'm he's a little, family friendly. I'm a yeah, little, for the most part. Well, <laughs> His TV little, stuff is. Her, I'm not your favorite comedian. No. Oh. Your family. <laughs> <laughs> he's obligated to love you. I think it would be really fun to play with Ewan McGregor, the guy that plays Obi Wan Kenobi. Mm. He plays Obi-Wan. a lot of other things too, dear. Oh, well, y- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think he'd be really fun to play with. He'd be really fun. And it, he'd make I, a good bard. Yeah, I think he would. He can sing. Oh yeah. I think it would be fun to have uh, Emperor Palpatine as the DM. <gasps> <laughs> oh my goodness! Yes. Just do a game where it's the cast. Just yeah. the cast. Harrison Ford, Aiden Christensen, Ewan McGregor. Why are we calling that every e- single time? Elon. <laughs> Elon. <laughs> Elon McGregor. I'm really curious to see if Padme would be a good player. Wait. Natalie Portman or Padme? Yeah, Natalie Portman. Yeah. I think she would. I think she would. Could you just imagine like Jedi just playing each other and they're just like reading each other's mind? <laughs> they would never talk. <laughs> and they so would always get him. natural 20s. Like, <laughs> 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 they're Did the you worst just force cheaters. A, they would be the worst. No, you'd cheaters. have to play on a non-force sensitive planet. Mm. 
Ooh. Wait, can't they? There's just one guy that's just sensing the force to see who uses it. That's what I was I... about to say. Can't you just do they that? Have to have a referee. <laughs> they have to have a referee. <laughs> there are so there are animals out there that kind of stifle the force. Mm. Yeah. You just get one of those and put them in the middle of the table. There okay. you go. Um, the next question from Ryan, what's the most impressive or creative D and D cosplay you've ever seen at a convention or online? D and D. Like Dungeons hmm. and Dragons. Or D&D? just impressive, like creative costume. Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> Somebody did a costume of that. Oh yeah. They have like a whole outfit for like being like spring trap or whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Which is it's terrifying. There's there's some really creative people out there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um Yeah. I think I remember seeing one online that somebody dressed up as that fat dragon from the movie. Uh. Mm. And it actually looked really good. Like it, they did a really good job. I saw pictures from the Salt Lake City Fanex of the um, three guys from Mulan dressed as women. Oh. (laughs) And they looked amazing. (laughs) They were like spot on. They make a man out of him? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They they made women out of Mm -hmm. men. Oh, man. (laughs) That was really good. I also saw really cool... um, how oh, who's the new bad guy in Diablo Four? The big main one, Lilith. Lilith. I saw a Diablo Lilith cosplay, just the up the face, on Instagram or TikTok, and it was incredible. She had all the horns and everything. It was wow. really cool. Um, I don't. I've never been to a Fan X Comic Con, anything like that. Uh, and I don't follow any of that stuff on social media. So, well. I saw another one. Does football count? And it was this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the scarecrow guy. They guiding. cosplay. They totally cosplay. I mean, if they're professionals, do they cosplay? It's just a uniform at that point. They are point. playing for their cause. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I like it. Also, fans dress up. Have you seen well, that, really that good would... fan dress up? <laughs> you seen those people who paint themselves? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 That, that's about it. I think one of my favorite ones that I ever saw, it's, it was when Sol, not Salcon, when Fanex first started happening here in Utah, there was this kid that was in kind of a, a wheelchair looking thing. Oh, yeah. Do you remember this one? Yeah. And he had built, or, you know, with his parents, Falcon. the Millennium Falcon. That's pretty cool. Around him. His wheelchair was kind of more in the center. But yeah, it was the whole Millennium Falcon. So he was driving around. <laughs> In the Millennium Falcon. And I've seen several pictures of that same kid, and he would be in a pod racer, and he'd be in several different little ships, too. Has he too. done the Professor X yet? I don't know. From the animated series, where he's got, like, that whole closed-in yellow oh, yeah. electric thing. I haven't seen I know what you're talking yet. about. That'd I really also cool. really love seeing Deadpool cosplay as other characters. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> always a big thing at Fanix in Salt Lake. It's huge. Huge. They also have a lot of Grinches around Christmas. Oh my gosh, I love People it. People cosplay as the Grinch. Oh, I did see that once when I worked in the local mall before I got married. There was this guy who came in for like, back when they still did like midnight, midnight. Mm-hmm. Full on character. Like came in, was a total jerk and everything and <laughs> left with something. And then um, somebody else in his group brought it back. Like they stole something from the store. And they brought it back like two minutes later. That's funny. <laughs> okay. Um, Seb, did you have any? I'm trying to think. I The last cosplay that i seen that sticks out was the same Lilith. I think probably the same saw her. face oh. with the horns. That was pretty cool. Um, for one time that I was at Fenix, this was probably... Oh, it was a while ago. It was probably 10 years ago. I've been trying to think of, like, who did I see there? And, you know, there was some pretty cool Lord of the Rings ones, some pretty cool Star Wars stuff, some pretty cool, like, um, one of them was, um, Luigi's mansion. No, Luigi's like, Luigi's, uh, professor. What? 
uh, romantic interest. I forget oh. her name. Not Peach, but Daisy. 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 There was a Daisy that was pretty cool. Um, but that was like 10 years ago, so that's what I'm going on, though. That's right. Fan X has been around that long. <laughs> oh. You're old. I went to the very first so one. So are you now. No, I'm not. Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> yes, you are. I've got the gray hair and everything. <laughs> See, I don't have gray hair. Yet. She'll just go white. She's a redhead. It won't That's go gray. true. She'll just go white. No, it kind of goes cream. <laughs> It'd be kind of weird because you're so pale. <laughs> and you'll get white hair. You'll probably look albino. Well, maybe all of my little freckles, I'll be brown by then. <laughs> <laughs> In your dreams. <laughs> okay. So I had a dream once. <laughs> Sebastian has the last question until we get to the three would you rathers. Okay. If you could play any NPC for the rest of the campaign, who would it be and why? Oh, gosh. Robert. I'm going to play Robert. <laughs> I think you do a very good Robert. Or, or our favorite swindler. <gasps> Just saying. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I know who I'd play. Mm. Long nose. <laughs> <laughs> long nose. Yes, my other thought was stumpy, but I think long nose is better. Mm. I think it'd be really fun to play Yo Lynx, but I don't, yeah. You already stole an NPC and play the NPC, okay? That's true. <laughs> Hanley's That's my typical. favorite NPC. <laughs> Um, Technically, <laughs> I think it also would be really cool to play Posh, the Drow, Ooh. the Crazy Druid Drow, the Crazy Druid Drow. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Or Ivan would be fun to play. Hmm. Although I've never played a boy before, I've I never can't play brave enough. What? It's like the best thing in the world. <laughs> I've never been brave enough. <laughs> Evan, what would you, to play who would you woman. do? I'd play Dracarys. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't count. You already played him. <laughs> <laughs> but he he's an NPC, NPC, dang it. That is true. He didn't start that way. <laughs> the Zibbidi. Zibbidi. Yeah, the two that, came to, the two that came to mind were Thorin. Mm-hmm. Although he was, he was in the same campaign as Dracarys. I did not play him, so that... It can't, <laughs> no, you um, played Beryl. Right, I played Beryl in that campaign, not Thorin, but I, he'd be fun, going back to the Barbarian, kind of my next character. Um, and then I also thought of Ivan. 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 Yes. yes. Yes, okay. I like the idea of somebody playing Swindell, I'm not going to lie. I think it'd be fun. <laughs> Plain spin day. He'd have all the magic items. Dave would have to make the campaign really difficult. <laughs> right. Yeah. He'd be like, nah. let me get on that real fast. You so really have to have some sort of backstory about how he lost his quote unquote job. No, no, no. He so lost how his, he his, lost his magic wagon and that's what the story is. He got overpowered by someone. His, he got kicked out. Yeah. <laughs> his magic wagon really is just one of the, the coats of many things or the job. If that's been transformed. It's okay. A wagon of many things. Yeah, it's just been transformed. And so the story is replenishing the wagon. Yeah, that's it's cool. a wagon of plethora of things. Yeah, Ooh. a plethora of things. Although I don't know that I'd play Robert as a cleric. What would you play him yeah. as? I don't know. Um, a monk. Oh, a monk Ooh. would be good. Hiya! Oh, <laughs> I, no, I'd play I'm him sorry. as a druid, a dumb druid. <laughs> that didn't know he was really a druid. See, I think it would be fun to play Robert as, possibly as a barbarian. <laughs> a barbarian Whoopsie. that didn't know. <laughs> yeah, he gives him a hug. Yeah, but, yeah like, but his rage is definitely different. Mm-hmm. His rage is more of a scolding than it is like, no, give, us taste, yes, give us a taste. Give us a taste. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it'd be more like a, you know... That wasn't very nice of you to come in here, you know, and start tampering with our mojo here. You know, we were just having a nice little campfire and you decided to come in here and start attacking. So here's your choices now. <laughs> One. You like a, your, as a father. A I was like, yeah, was, we're just gentle parenting it over here. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to continue. But this is him raging. <laughs> <laughs> what would his path be? Oh, what would his path be? If he's, he's going to be a gentle barbarian here. 
the protector? I'd have to think about it. Giant. I, th- I think thing? it would probably be along the ways of protector. I think it would. I think it'd be funny to be Beastmaster. And his spirit guardians are fun. parents. <laughs> <laughs> it's just other versions of him. Yep. <laughs> uh... You know, like it's you know I who would see be his Storm spirit Herald. animal would be like it'd be bandit. It would be what? His his spirit animal, like his protector bandit. animal. It'd oh, be bandit. okay. Blue. <laughs> yeah, Bluey. Yeah, a dog. A doggy. Ruff, ruff. A puppy dog. A, a bandit dog. in particular from yeah. Bluey. Yes. He's my spirit animal in real life. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> definitely. No, but I that would be fun. But I think if <laughs> I had to step out of the DM role and play an NPC. In this campaign right now, I think it would be, let's see, I'm trying to think of all the NPCs that we've had. Boudreaux. I think it would be interesting to play Colin. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What class would you play him as? Ooh, I think I would probably play him as... Oh, a wizard? So he can be a chef. <laughs> He'd oh, be he's a... a warlock. Duh. He had to oh. make a pact. Oh, sure. Ooh. Sure. With Roscoe. Mm, that's that's hard. I don't know. <laughs> I think I would. I think he would be a cleric, but the way he heals you would be with food. <gasps> hey, that's I just what Mirabelle's is. mom. You're yeah. just stealing Boudreaux's freaking character. No, Except I told for... you you wanted to play Boudreaux. <laughs> <laughs> but but if he played with Boudreaux, they would definitely fight on who could heal better. <laughs> they would bet definitely. Hey, Colin. I mean, all Colin would have to do is steal somebody once and you'd, you'd be fine. <laughs> I've healed you guys more than once. <laughs> without prompting. I without have done prompting, it without prompting. <laughs> I don't think so. Bujo has gotten better over the yes. last 76 episodes. Because you guys die more. <laughs> <laughs> and no, that is not his fault. Gosh. Whoa. Uh, anyways. You old people who can't uh, play you, D&D. <laughs> can't play d and We did. introduced you to D&D. Anyways. <laughs> okay, we got some ro- would you rather questions. Oh, yeah, sorry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, would you rather <laughs> kick Boudreaux out of the campaign? <laughs> or. Ooh, Hang on. Fans, I need you to speak up. Oh. <laughs> Hang on. Let me put in my hearing aid. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Zeb. <laughs> Thanks for proving my point. <laughs> Okay, this is from Rollin' Free TTRPG. Would you rather eat everything Boudreaux cooks? Oh, yeah. Or go hiking in the woods with Yo Lynx? Yo Lynx. For sure. Because I already know what Boudreaux cooks and how Boudreaux cooks as a character. And then yeah. I could stab Yo Lynx in the back as a <laughs> character. Uh. <laughs> I'd have to eat Boudreaux's food because I don't trust Yo Lynx. Yeah, same. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't really like trust that you know. Like, I don't know how I feel about this person. I Hasn't been s- in talked about a lot. Yeah. He is a mystery. So I'd eat Boudreaux's food. I want to say my previous character did go on a hike with your links through the woods. He did. That is so true. I will say eat Boudreaux's food. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> so I win. <laughs> Again. Oh wait, sorry, David. Abby. Sorry, Abby. This is really tough, but I uh, boot her food. <gasps> I win! I win! <laughs> this is like the third time! I think I'm winning all of you guys in this game! Keep what? going. I don't know. <laughs> it's because okay. she's a baby. We have to, like, just, just let her, let her, let her have it. <laughs> Good job, LC. I'm so <laughs> proud of you. <laughs> you go back to your putty now, okay? <laughs> okay, I will. <laughs> okay. Nat One Nerds podcast asked, would you rather be stuck in a maze with a few gelatinous cubes or a number of phase spiders at level three? Okay. Um, Are we talking about our character or us as a person? I'd say us as a person. Yep. Okay. Because character wise. No, I'm person. I'm terrified of spiders. (laughs) I feel like I could outmaneuver a gelatinous cube a lot more than a spider that phases. I would agree. I would agree. I'd rather be with gelatinous cube. Same, because I don't like spiders, especially killing them because I hate the (laughs) noise. When they're phase spiders, too, so they can disappear. Dave, explain a phase spider to me. Yeah, please. So a phase spider, they can disappear into like the ethereal realm, move around, and then reappear. So that's kind of what they do. So they that they can go terrifying. kind of invisible, yeah. Mm-hmm. And they're bigger than your average spider. Yeah, 
Mm. Are, like we, are we talking spiders. like? <laughs> are we talking I like? Think they're like spiders a... from the Hobbit size <laughs> to Shelob size. I think they're more of the no medium. Boudreaux. Didn't they're you like just dog size? Sized. Yeah, Boudreaux sized. So, so kind of like the ones from the Hobbit, well, but I am maybe not a little dog sized. Yeah. sized. yeah, they're oh. Aragog's offspring. Okay, Aragog. David. The bigger ones. Yeah, I would. I would, yeah. if I remember correctly, they're more like medium size. Okay. Um. Could I be following behind the gelatinous cube and not have to like chase it around? Well, there are, uh, you're Multiple. stuck in a maze with several gelatinous cubes. Okay, but I could just like, is the gelatinous cube, if it's moving, I could just follow and then it would eventually just get me out of the maze. You know, I think. Eventually, if you don't starve to death. I think I might choose the spiders yeah. because then I can just die. Oh. Or you could no, just no, choose no, no. the gelatinous cube and just, I just die. I don't think I could get out, and I don't want to just be <gasps> dissolved and starved to death. And you know, I think just you know, yeah. There's a chance death. I could be befriend the spiders, or <laughs> that's a very boudreaux thing to <laughs> say. Steal their eggs and like p- not give it back Water. until they 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 let me go. Elsie, that's never gonna happen. They'll I don't know. There's a chance. <laughs> or it all depends or on how like the dice I said, mm-hmm. like I said in the first place. I will die. <laughs> It'll be okay, a quicker me, death. So I have a question. Hopefully. Yes. About gelatinous cube. Okay. What happens when two gelatinous cubes run into each other? They mate. <laughs> <laughs> they, <laughs> they make baby gelatinous cubes. How do you think the third one happened? Or they uh, make a baby. They make a bigger gelatinous cube? They question eat each mark? other. I don't know. I've never. <gasps> they dissolve each anything. other. It's just like jello. So they okay. both split. Yeah, I know that's what they do at the Fork and Road. They just keep going straight and then eventually separate. And because they kind of don't have a sentience. Because I mean, if two jellos, two cubes of jello come up together, they can't do anything. They just bounce, just bounce off, off each, each other. other. Probably depends on who's more acidic. Oh, oh a base or versus who's acid strong? one. Yeah, but jello. But is it? Aren't the aren't gelatinous cubes kind of sticky and jello is not? I you mean, no. Yes. I don't play with Jello very often, so I do. You're the Jello <laughs> expert. Yeah, that's why I'm saying they're probably not Jello, right? Because they're sticky. They're Jello esque. Yes. They're yes. gelatin. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. That's the name. Uh, I think we should move on. Zeb. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we haven't gotten Zeb's. If I'm Hagrid, I can befriend the spiders. Ooh, befriend yeah. The spiders. Because they're just me, misunderstood. Myself, definitely the cubes, because I feel like I could outrun them. Mm-hmm. If you get out. What Last. is the movement <laughs> speed of a gelatinous cube? Mm, I think they're really pretty slow. slow. They're I, really slow. I'd, I'd like to say off of memory, I'm some, I know somebody's Unless be, it's on a slope. Then whee! <laughs> you guys really. I think 10 feet. You could be trapped in a corner and then just eat you. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's the same way with the spider. No, it just eats me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, please move on. Okay. Next. Last question. This is, uh, would you rather, a question from Stories by Sarah Danielle. Would you rather play D&D online or in person? In person. In yeah. person. In yep. person. In person. In person. Yep. But... Never mix the two in person and online. What does that mean? It means one We're of your like, players is online and the rest of you are in person or going back and forth. Yeah, we did yeah, that once hard. and it was really hard. It, it was really especially hard. if somebody's like the one if you've got one person online and they're a little bit laggy. Mm. When well, there's laggy. all the tech, and then there's the in game, like the in room game, like Mojo, mm-hmm. and that online person is like not privy to that Mojo, and it's just really difficult. When you get a lot of facial expressions too, it's very difficult to like role you, play or yeah, do anything. I think so. Yeah, because you're not reading that body language. Mm-hmm. I think maybe if you were just really into the hitting things, online might be easier. Mm-hmm. But if you're really into the RP, it's a little bit harder. I think that would be it. Like, it's either you're all together or all online. Because at least online, you can put your headphones in and you can hear everybody. But when it's half and half, we've had this issue with your mm-hmm. friends when we try yep, and do yep, half yep. and half. That you get that echo because you got to have them on a speaker and you got to have a microphone to catch everybody. And it just gets that, uh, I forget, that 
Reverb. Reverb, thank you. So it's hard to have the speaker loud enough, but then being able to hear you and everybody speaking loud enough too. Mm-hmm. And I don't mind playing online if everybody's online, but yeah. if it's halvesies, X no, not playing. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer in person mostly because um, when I'm in person, even if it's at our own home um, where we have our other campaign that we're in, it usually ends up at our house. It's easier f- with kids to just not mm. have them around all the time or be like, okay, I can handle this instead of the constant. The minute that you're on, got headphones on or you're on the phone or something, kids are always like, mom, 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 <laughs> mom. 100%. Or you have to pee. It's the same thing. <laughs> I can't that go. Would, that would be awkward. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it's just easier in person. Yeah. So yeah, definitely in person. Well, that is the end of our questions. Thank you, everybody, for sending in your questions. And be prepared for next year. Um, We'll do another mailbag. Yeah, this is our third year anniversary of our podcast. Mm -hmm. So we do that, do the mailbag every anniversary of our podcast. So thank you guys so much for supporting us, for sending these uh, questions as well. We always like to hear from you guys. Uh, Continue doing what you do. You know, you guys are awesome. We do this podcast for you and we really enjoy your feedback. And these questions were very good because we know you're listening. We know you're listening because of the questions you asked. (laughs) Also, some milestones we just hit. We had over 4,000 downloads in a month last Mm -hmm. month, which is January. And we also just passed 70,000 overall downloads. We did. And that was really exciting. That's a big jump from one year to another, by the way. That is huge. I mean, Abby just shared something on our chat that said our first year uh, thing was like 7,000. It was the first year in a couple months. And then it's like two years later, we broke 70,000. So that's that's amazing to us. And it's all because of you guys. Like, honestly, you guys sharing us, you guys being such a good support. And we love you for that. We really appreciate it. So to end, my name is Abby. I was your host for this mailbag. And to the right, I have Dave, Id, (laughs) Zip, Evan, Becky, LC. And until next year, we unroll the mail. To Um, tell the tale. To tell the tale. (laughs) Thank you. I'm like, I, my brain just went boop. And I'm like, (laughs) I was trying to be cool. Thank you. To unroll the mail to tell the tale. (laughs) (laughs) It's still scroll. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.